What is up, everybody? I am Mega Short Fuse, and uh, I haven't done one of these in a while. And these meaning a an actual commentary, not a live com, but an actual commentary. But um, then again, today is not a very ordinary day, now is it? If you go to my YouTube channel and check the dates joined, you will find that today is my one-year anniversary on YouTube, and it's it's a strange sensation, to tell you the truth. So. As, as per usual, people make their uh, anniversary videos, I decided to make mine. And I'm not gonna annoy you with anything like, this is the first video I ever put up, and not put any effort in this. No, I, I wanna reflect on the past year and what it has brought you and me. So, I guess just to start with the reason why I actually joined YouTube and started making videos in the first place. Uh, people have heard bits and pieces of the story, but never the whole thing at once, so... I started watching YouTube or commenta commentators about the time when Machinima Respawn was created, so that means uh, late 2009. And as it went on, I started to wonder, well, isn't there something else, you know, besides Call of Duty? I mean, it's fine, but I'm starting to watch it more for the personality and not the gameplay. So then in about mid-2010, I started wondering, well, I've, I've seen enough of these, I speak English. <laughs> Why, why don't I try my hand at this, you know? But but what should I do? Every single person on YouTube does Call of Duty, you know? It's not something special. You need to really stand out with your personality. So I, I thought, well, I'm not that bad of a gamer, so why not just blend the two? Like, it, it's not a very original idea, I know. It, it sort of was at the time, is my excuse. But uh, I really wanted to fuse gameplay and commentary, good gameplay and commentary, you know? Something entertaining. And have I achieved that? I don't know, but you guys tell me. I, I think I've done a pretty decent job at being a commentator. I don't know. The some of the ratings speak for themselves. Some I've made some terrible mistakes, but uh, more on that later. So yeah, I started making those. Um, the actually, this is not my first channel. Not many people know that, but the first time I appeared on YouTube was in October of 2010, and uh, that was sort of an experiment. I didn't really think... Okay, so here's what happened. I lost my password. I forgot what the password was called, so on the 26th of January 2011, I said... I was at a friend's house, and we were like, we need to create a new account. What, what's a good name? And they're like, you you rage at games a lot. And I'm like, I do rage at games a lot. What is a good name? Sh short fuse? Yeah, really short fuse. And I'm like, short fuse it is. YouTube autofill it to make a short fuse, and the rest is history. But, uh... So that's how I came about, you know, it's it's been very fun, it's been, if nothing else, a learning experience. Um, I've learned how to edit, like, to the best of my amateurish abilities, you know, this is where Theater Art Saturday came from, it was less than an attempt to entertain you guys, but it is my primary focus when making the Theater Art Saturday episodes, but it's more of an experiment at editing, how, how well can I edit and how well can I push my abilities, you know, how much can I learn, really, from editing, and, um... You know, let's not beat around the bush here. I am a machinima director. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just... Remember this part of the video, this is the stupidest thing that's ever happened to me in Uncharted 2. But, um, I am a machinima director. Um, not really that much currently because... Short story, uh, machinima had sort of not... I, w I would call it a cleanup, I wouldn't beat around the bush. It was a cleanup of... To streamline their content more, so I have been trying to get back on, and I think I'm on the cusp of getting back on Machinima Sports. But uh, my goal in Machinima Sports was not well. What I did in my own channel really was bring variety to it, and I think I've done an admirable job of that. I haven't been posting any Madden or NFL. Oh, wait, that that is Madden, is it? Um, hockey, basketball, whatever the hell's on Machinima Sports. I try to stick to what I do best: driving games. And I try to bring you the, uh, well, the greatest, the worst, and the in-between. So, going back to my first channel. My first channel, Player Zero, which is a horrible name. We actually brainstormed it with a couple of my friends at school. And that was the best we came up with on our, uh, in one of the breaks. <laughs> so, it wasn't much of an effort, but it leads me to the worst video I've ever done and it's part of the best series I think I've ever created uh, which is 50 Cent Blood on the Sand like this is my idea of going big like no one had done anything with 50 Cent Blood on the Sand at, at the time so I'm like I'm gonna do that this game is ridiculous it's so good yet it's so bad at the same time I really wanted to do something with that game so I created Let's Play 50 Cent Blood on the Sand 
Uh, now, I am proud of the later parts where my friend Tony joins in, and it really becomes awesome, but, uh, f watch the first part. I'm gonna link the first parts. That is the worst shit I've ever done. Like, uh, on my own personal channel. Worst thing I have ever done. It's my most watched video. Now it's, like, 15,000 views, which is unimaginable for me. <laughs> but yeah, that thing's got a lot of views, and it can promptly go to hell. And I don't know how to recover my password. If any of you know, please tell me. But, um, in that time, I've gathered a small legion of 300 and something people. And some people might laugh at that. Some people might call it small, according to YouTube standards. And I admit, it is. But I love you guys. I love every single one of you to death. Like, most of you come from Machinima. Some of you have stuck around. And thank you. Thank you for the support. You know who you are. Loyal supporters. <laughs> the people who comment on the videos often. I've met some great people through going on YouTube. For example, the... I would never have signed up for the Games Radar forums where I met uh, most of the people on TDR Saturday, really. And made some... I've made some lifetime friends on that. And I, really had the... I wouldn't have had the balls to do this if I hadn't been on YouTube. YouTube has improved my ability to speak. I was horrible at speaking English. I was... I still am sort of a bit of a closed off person, but um... I have improved a lot in my people skills through YouTube, at least my entrance to people skills, if you can call that. So... It's, it's a strange thing, you know? <laughs> First year, we can call it an experiment of can this work and where can I take it? Second year, we're gonna focus on expanding. Hell, I want to make it make things more easy in the eye, so contest everybody. If anyone here knows how to use Photoshop and knows how to make me a YouTube background, do it. You're gonna get a shout out, dual cum, whatever the hell you want within my very, very, very modest abilities, I might admit. You're gonna get it. So please make me a YouTube background. That thing is horrible to look at. I, I realize it was made in like three minutes in MS Paint. But uh, yeah, it might feature some of those motifs. So this is an awesome experience. This has been great. No matter how many people who I've amassed or how many people have watched my videos. Hey, 300 Spartans did some work back in the day. So really, I want to say thank you. You know, I, I thought it would have been like at 20 subscribers. <laughs> still. But you, there's a lot of you guys. Like 300 people. That's a lot. Um, thank you. Honest to God, thank you. I love you. I can unabashedly say I love every single one of you, and thanks for watching. Continue watching, because there's lots of great stuff coming. I can feel it. And, um... That's it. I'm gonna leave you to the fading screen of epicness. Goodbye, everybody.